And yes guys, I had to put the disclaimer because yes, there's people out there that don't enjoy having fun in the sun, like us. And like you notice, today we have plenty of sun, so all we have to do is find the fun. And that's exactly where we're going. And you guys are coming along for the ride. And talking about a ride, I got my good friend Doobie taking us on his boat for the ride. And where we're going today, a smaller boat is ideal. And you're gonna see why when we get there. But right now we're gonna put everything on ice and wait for some more friends to show up and we're gonna head out. And if you do your boating here locally in Miami, you know exactly which marina we're heading out from. And I think it's gonna be a fun ride because the GPS says an hour ride, but through the outside. And two hours and 15 minutes through the inside. But right now we're gonna take advantage and enjoy our view and our way out. And I don't know about you guys, but my day starts and the fun begins as soon as my feet touch the boat when it's in the water. So even riding through the canals to get to the outside channel, to me, is enjoyable because we get to see all the beautiful boats sitting behind the houses. And the ride wasn't that long before we hit the intercoastal to head out to the outside. But we encounter people already having fun in the sun, cruising on their personal watercraft. And talking about cruising, we took a cruise right by Hallover Sandbar. And we noticed there's plenty of people and boaters here enjoying the sandbar early in the day. But we didn't stop, we kept going right through and headed over to Hallover Inlet and hoping we didn't get caught in the change of tides because today we're riding in a smaller boat and it could get pretty choppy and I really wasn't in the mood to get wet. So we kept going forward and hope for the best and a little luck. Well, like you saw, it was a little lumpy, but the Everglades handled it like a champ. So we hit the throttle down and kept going forward because the ride is an hour long. Now, like you noticed, I was standing up, but I was wondering how long can I take the ride for? Because you don't really notice it on video, but the waves were two to three with occasional four. And if you've been in weather like this for an hour long, you know you could get pretty banged up. So in about 30 minutes or so, I decided to sit down the rest of the way. And just like that, we made it to Boca Lake Inlet. Now, have you guys been here before? This inlet's pretty small. So if you're not familiar with the area, you actually could miss it if you're not using a GPS. But we found it and we went right in. And as soon as we made it through the channel and poked our way in, we saw a lot of boats anchored and moving around to find their spots. And now we have to maneuver around so we can find a good location to anchor down. But we wanted to stay away from the middle just in case we get caught in a boat jam. And by the way things are looking, it could happen in any minute. And finally, we drove around and found a lucky spot. So we threw the front anchor and now we're hooking up the back anchor. And how cool is this? By coincidence, we anchored up next to some really cool fans that watch the channel. And they let us raft up to them. Yeah. 
So let me spin the camera around and show you guys how many people are here already and it's not even 12 o'clock yet. Also, I knew I was in for a challenge in editing this video between all the music and all the bikinis because you already know that YouTube doesn't let you play copyright music and show too many small bikinis. So I'm willing to try my best in showing you guys what Polka Bash is all about and try not to get in trouble. Well, like you can see, it looks like everyone's having a great time. So we decided to jump in the water and take a walk around to really get close up and see what people were up to here at Polka Bash. And just in case you didn't know, this happens once a year, only on the last Sunday of the month of April. And it's located at Lake Polka. And this is a small sandbar, but it attracts lots of people, like you can see. And if you guys want to see more videos of the previous year of Polka Bash, I was here before, so go to my video library and look them up. And also, I would like to say hi to all the fans that actually came by and say hi, or those who just looked and wondered if that was me or not. I guess because I didn't have the hydro around. There were so many people here that I didn't even know which direction to go, so I decided to follow the path wherever it gets shallow and keep moving forward. Well guys, I tried running the audio of the video, but the camera's picking up all the music being played really loud. So I had to mute the audio, but you guys are gonna enjoy the visual. And yes, before anybody says it, this is a tough job and someone has to do it. And what do we have here? Captain Boca Bash? Now this is pretty cool, his outfit.
now that's what you call a full Mac and what do you guys think so far do you like it will you come to it next year or it's not your type of thing And now we decided to start heading back because my stomach was starting to talk to me. But you know what? We found the coolest dog here at Boca Bash. Won't you guys agree? What do you think? And what do we have here? I found a guy giving a live concert here at Boca Bash. The only problem was that the boat's stereo system was louder than his, so nobody really got to appreciate what he was singing. But I'm pretty sure next time he comes, he's gonna bring bigger speakers. And we got to the boat just in time because it was getting pretty packed. And we got a new arriving boater, one at a time, next to us. So we helped them out and they're gonna wrap up. But at the same time, I'm gonna give you guys an overview to try to show how many boats are here. And you're gonna see that as far as the camera can see, there's boats everywhere. And yep, even the high camera is picking up the audio, so we're gonna go back to the music. And it's amazing how many people are here enjoying Boca Bash. And this event wasn't really advertised. People just knew the date and they came. So imagine next year, it's gonna be even more packed because I know a lot of people that both follow my channel and didn't know about this event. So if this is your first time watching it and finding out and you like it, make sure to give it a thumbs up on the video and share it with your friends that didn't know about it either. While they share drinks, I want to go ahead and uh, share some food because I smell it and I wonder what it is. Oh my god, it's giant shrimps and octopus and sausage and churraco next door that he gave me a taste. And when you least expect it that you think it's going to get any better, it does because the food tastes really good. Well, when the day started, I knew we were going to Boca Bash, but I never knew I would wind up between so many boats with so many good people here having a great time and enjoying exotic food like octopus and Madagascar giant shrimps and also churraco with guacamole. So with the energy level up because of the food, we decided to jump on the water and hang out behind the boat before we head out walking around one more time. And yep, more people are rafting up and now we're surrounded by boats everywhere. And here comes another good part, sharing more food. Right now, I'm eating a chicken minchu that the nice lady on the boat next door shared with us. And with all this food, the energy level is really high, so it's time to go ahead and walk around one more time. But before we start walking around, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the boat and do a zoom check and show you guys how many more people showed up to Boga Bash.
All right, enough sightseeing from the boat. It's time to jump back in the water and check out the hot spot. And right away, we ran into a crowd of people having some fun in the sun here at Boca Bash. So we decided to walk around, but stay nearby because more people were showing up. And as soon as the music started playing, everybody started having fun in the sun here at Boca Bash 2021. Yeah, you're not seeing things. There's plenty of people here having fun in the sun. And we met this really cool lady and she was really strong. Strong enough to survive Boga Bash 2021. And then we ran into another crowd of Brazilian folks having some fun here at Boca Bash. And that's something that's really cool about Sandbar life. Everyone comes here to have a good time. It doesn't matter the language, the country, or the type of music you listen to. I'm just really glad I can share all this with you guys via YouTube on this channel. Well, like you see guys, everyone here had a great time, even ourselves just here, wandering around, recording, everybody having some fun in the sun. But now, like every story, and like he's saying, has his ending. So we're gonna head back to the boat, but it's gonna be interesting getting out of the big crowded area we got caught up in. So we're gonna see how good Duvi can maneuver through the boat, and hopefully he doesn't hit anybody. And if you're wondering why we're leaving kinda early, well remember, we have an hour right back and cleaning the boat and it is sunday so some of us work on monday editing videos and doing the live stream at one o'clock and we made it out without a problem and while some of us leave others are still coming in to enjoy the fun and the sun here at boca bash and I'm wondering, if you came here to Boca Bash on Sunday and you stayed really late and you're watching the video, let me know how long you stayed because I really would like to know how long this party lasted. And remember guys, if you have any cool clips of Boca Bash or any sandbar party going on, make sure to tag Fresco Channel on Instagram and I'll post you guys up. And maybe one day I'll show up to your sandbar party. <laughs> 